Welcome back friends. It's a beautiful spring day here in Michigan. And as you can see behind me, the green grass is growing and lawn mowing season has begun. So today I'm really excited to share with you something new from Cub Cadet. Now, you might be familiar with their Ultima series, which is the industry's number one selling residential zero turn mower. Well, today they changed the game for 2022 and they added a new lineup of steering wheels to their Ultima series of mowers. So let's take a close look at it and I'll show you what the Synchro Steer technology is all about. And you can see if this one is right for you. In just a second, we're gonna start mowing these ditches right here, which can get pretty steep in some spots. Before I do, I just wanna take a quick second to thank Cub Cadet for sponsoring this video. So you might be wondering who is this mower designed for? Well, it could be for someone who's looking for that familiar experience with a steering wheel, or it also is someone who's looking for more stability control on hillier and rougher conditions. So as you can see, I'm mowing this ditch right here. At the end, I'm gonna make a sharp turn to get out of it and with that synchro steer technology the front wheels are turning and then the rear wheels are helping to push it in the right direction this is going to be a two video series so this first video you're watching is going to be my first look at it my initial impressions and going over all the specs and then the second video which will be out about a week later that will give you some additional thoughts and showing it in more cutting conditions and then also if you're wondering about the warranty, this is backed by a strong three year, no hour limited warranty, plus a limited lifetime warranty on the frame and the fabricated deck shell. So now let's bring this in, go ahead and park it and I'll walk you through all these specs and we'll get a close up look. The first thing I noticed with this mower is it's actually easier to get on and off of it than the other mower. And then the steering column is adjustable, so you can put it to whatever comfort you like. And then there's armrests on here, which is definitely a plus. So you can just see how easy it is. You raise the armrest, you can get off of the mower real quick. I definitely think Cub Cadet put a lot of thought into making sure this is a comfortable mower. So starting off with the seat, it's a premium 20 inch, fully adjustable high back seat. And it has these advanced polymer isolators. It helps ensure a more smoother ride, so you can see as I lower the seat down on it and I sit on it, you can just see how there's that shock absorption right there. And another thing you might notice from this angle right here is the very solid, well-built frame. It's made of two by two tubular steel. And then adding to the comfort, we have a soft touch steering wheel. That's something I noticed right away. I like the shape and feel of it. And you can easily mow with one hand if you want. And then we have the rubber floor mat, which assists in dampening vibrations. So you can see for controlling the unit to go forward and back, you use your right foot. So it's definitely different than the zero turns with the lap bar. So it took me a little bit of time to get used to. Probably by the time I was done mowing my lawn, my entire lawn, then it just became second nature using my right foot. So the one part of this mower that I forget on occasion is this setup right here. This is how you lock and unlock the parking brake. So you have to lock it every time you get off the mower or when you shut it off. Then when you turn it on and then you're ready to start mowing, then you move it to the unlock position. And then to the bottom right, that's a freewheel position that unlocks the hydros if you want to just push the mower or let's say you were towing it. There is one other safety feature that took me a couple days to get used to, and that's if you want to mow in reverse. You have to turn the key to the left there push that little triangle till the light comes on, then you can turn your mower deck on and mow in reverse. If you try to do that by skipping those steps, then the mower deck will just shut off when you try going in reverse. And then here's a look a little further back on what I call the command center. There's an hour meter and then a cup holder, which can really come in handy on those hot summer days. One of the first things I noticed with the mower, looking at the front tires, you can just see the nice tread on there. They really help to grip the ground, especially on a hill when you're trying to turn. And also in the front here, you notice there's dual LED lights. So if you have to finish up in low light conditions, those are a nice feature. Let me show you what they look like at night. So if you ever find yourself in that condition where you're trying to finish up at sunset, you'll definitely have adequate lighting as you can see right here to just finish up what you're doing. 
All right, let's take a look at the engine. So this has a Kohler 7000 series Pro V twin, 24 horsepower. And you can see the sticker here showing the engine is made in the USA with US and global parts. Let's take a close look at the air filter. You can see it's really easy to get access to it. It's a pro grade filter with increased filtering capacity. Here's a look at the mower deck. It's a 54 inch Aeroforce deck. It's fabricated. Now there's two different types of decks. There's stamp decks and fabricated. And fabricated is definitely the upgrade. And you can see underneath the mower deck, it's nice and clean. And then looking at the blades, they're a high lift blade. That design just seems to give a really nice cut and keeps the clumps reduced when mowing. And here's the top of the mower deck. You can just see a quick look at the pulleys. So this section of my yard right here is a small hill and there's a culvert with some small boulders around it. So I thought this would be a good example so you can just see how the cut quality is. You can see how it performs and turns with ease with that steering wheel. We did just have a little bit of rain move in. You can just kind of see those raindrops starting. And here I'm able to easily steer and maneuver around that culvert with ease. You know, I don't know about you, but I personally enjoy being able to go out and mow the lawn and make it look good. And then afterwards, I just like the nice clean cut and be able to spend time with the family and the dogs out there and do some grilling. It's just nice being outside in the fresh open air. And then if you're someone like me that enjoys being outside and mowing the lawn, I think you're going to like this more. All right, friends. So my question for you up until this point, do you have a preference between the type of steering system on your mower? Would you consider a steering wheel like this or do you like the lat bar? Please leave a comment down below. Let me know. And then if there's some other questions that I've left out, let me know as well. And then I just want to take a quick second to thank Cub Cadet for partnering with me on this video so I can show you this mower and all the features on it. And then as I mentioned, there's going to be another video about a week from now that will be out showing this really put to the test and showing more mowing conditions and the cut quality. So if you enjoy this video and you find it interesting, helpful, informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.